welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending March 23rd, 2018. I love starting the news with new anime announcements. And this week, fortunately, we have several. Looking forward to this. Um, the Japanese channel Animax has revealed plans for a new TV anime series and free-to-play smartphone game, both called Akanesasu Shoujo, or Girl Glowing Red, to celebrate Animax, this channel's 20th anniversary. It was conceived by Kotaro Uchikoshi of Punchline and Ever17, both manga, and it'll be directed by Jin Tamamura of A Sister's All You Need, which I've seen and I'm kind of impressed by. Character designs, and this is interesting, by Masakatsu Katsura of classics Video Girl Eye, DNA Squared, Tiger and Bunny, and Hiroyuki Asada of Tagami Bachi and Cheer Boys. Pretty cool stuff there. No air date has unfortunately been announced yet, but that is still cool. We're also getting a new Dororo anime, adapting one of Osamu Tezuka's more famous manga works. Don't know much about it. Uh, all we know so far is that it'll be streamed on Amazon. Uh, it'll be a co-production between Tezuka Studios and MAPPA, another anime studio. Uh, and they made, among other things, Yuri on Ice and In This Corner of the World. There's also a 45-second trailer on YouTube, and it looks very experimental. <clears throat> The original story focuses on a samurai whose father offered up the infant's body parts to various demons, and as an adult, he travels feudal Japan seeking out those demons to get the rest of his body back. Yeah, um, no news on how long that'll be or when that will air. So, who knows? Oh well. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get more news about that. That's pretty big, big news. Speaking of big news, Furikuri fans rejoice! This week brought more details about the upcoming seasons 2 and 3 of the weird, wacky, and wonderful OVA from the 90s, or I guess early 2000s, um, as well as release dates. The second season will be named Furikuri Progressive, the third will be named Furikuri Alternative, and each will have their own protagonists and their own stories. They will not be direct follow-ups to the original Although at least one character from season one will make an appearance, according to some of the uh, plot information. And so here's what we've been waiting to hear. Season two will air on Adult Swim June 2nd at 11.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time, while season three will premiere sometime in September. Adult Swim describes season three as a series by, quote, young creators who will redefine the meaning of the word sequel, end quote. Bold words, Adult Swim. Bold words. We'll see where that goes. <clears throat> a Netflix-only anime series also launched this week. Sword Guy, G-A-I, adapts a manga by Keita Amamiya, who is a prolific sci-fi creator, probably best known to old-school anime fans for Garo and the Zerum franchises. Um, it sounds like a shonen action series aimed at an older audience. Interesting, that's about all we know, or at least all I know without going back and watching the original, uh, the original thing. So, who knows? Uh, finally, bittersweet news for Gintama fans. The anime will go on hiatus at the end of March, only to return in July to tell the rest of the Silver Soul arc. For those not familiar with Gintama, the Silver Soul arc is the final arc of the manga. Will this mean the end of the anime series, or will it take the Boruto or Dragon Ball Super routes? We will have to see. Anyway, um, who... <laughs> so that's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see you, Space Cowboy.